First, some background on eastern wild turkeys. Males, or toms, have showier colors than females or hens. Toms also have a bristle-like beard that extends from their chest and grows as they age. Some hens also have a beard, but they're rare enough that a beard can be used as a good distinguishing trait for identifying males. Hens are duller in color, which helps to camouflage them while they're nesting. In the fall, males and females flock together on their wintering grounds in large, visible groups. In the spring, the hens disperse in search of nest sites. Toms attract the hens with courtship calls and behaviors. They gobble when they're trying to attract females from far away, and then they switch to quieter drumming and strutting behaviors, shown in this picture, when a hen is in sight. Hens and toms stay together during the breeding season, but once the hen lays eggs and starts to incubate her nest, the male leaves in search of other females. Generally speaking, during April, hens are breeding and they're with toms most of the time. By May 1st, most hens have started incubating. They're hidden on nests and difficult to see during this time. The exact timing may differ based on location, year, and weather. Today, wild turkeys are classified as game birds and we have a healthy population in North Carolina that's maintained by hunting regulations and a spring season only. However, this wasn't always the case. Although turkeys were historically plentiful in North Carolina, by the early 1900s, the population plummeted due to unregulated hunting and deforestation. Between 1928 and 1946, early restoration efforts involved releasing pen-reared birds into the wild. These restoration efforts failed because the birds were not used to dealing with predators in harsh weather conditions. By the 1970s, only 2,000 wild turkeys remained in North Carolina. Shortly after our agency was established, a new turkey restoration effort was initiated, which established turkey refuges and released wild-caught turkeys to these sites. And every decade, we have added more sites, relocating wild turkeys to areas from where they had disappeared. However, a significant increase in the turkey population was not seen until we closed the fall hunting season. Closing the fall season made all the difference because it kept hunters from overharvesting the birds, especially hens, from winter flocks. A spring hunting season for male turkeys only was established since it was not expected to be harmful to the population. And the results speak for themselves. From only 2,000 wild turkeys in North Carolina in 1970, the population rebounded to 265,000 birds in 2015. Wild turkeys now exist in all of North Carolina's counties, making this one of the most monumental and successful programs in our agency's history. To keep the population high, you want to allow the birds to breed undisturbed and to avoid killing hens. In order to do that, hunting should ideally occur after breeding takes place and the toms have made their contribution to the next generation, and when hens are most likely to be on nests and not with toms and therefore not as susceptible to accidental or illegal harvest. Remember this figure? Ideally, we want to time hunting when most hens are incubating. However, figuring out exactly when that is can be tricky, since hens are hidden when they're nesting. But it turns out the males let us know when hens are incubating. Toms show a predictable pattern in gobbling activity. They gobble a lot just before breeding to attract females. Then they're somewhat quieter once they find hens, they switch to close range courtship behaviors. And once the hens start incubating, the toms start gobbling again to attract other females. So since we know how gobbling coincides with nesting, it's an obvious indicator of when hens are nesting. So if the goal is to time hunting after breeding has occurred and hens are more likely to be on nests, then the season should start around the second peak in gobbling. Hunters often hear that first peak in gobbling and then the quiet period and they think they've missed the opportunity to hunt. However, many aren't aware that there's a second peak coming and that this is the time to shoot for. So when is that second peak exactly in North Carolina? Well, exciting new research from our agency tells us. In 2016, WRC initiated a gobbling chronology project. Every day from March till May, 50 acoustic recorders like the one shown here were used to record gobbling activity. These recorders were placed in northwest and southeast parts of the state to see if breeding starts earlier in different parts of the state. The same experiment is being repeated this spring, and this time at locations across the state. We're going to analyze those recordings to see if there's a clear pattern in gobbling activity in our state so that we know the dates when turkeys are breeding and can make sure that we have our turkey season at the ideal time to satisfy hunters and allow the population to flourish. Stay tuned for the results of this study. More information on turkeys, including hunting regulations, can be found on our website by clicking Learning, then Species.